Hello and welcome to the 20p RK challenge on the RetroTech 100s Facebook page. This week it's on like Donkey Kong. We've got two credits, that means two attempts to get the highest score possible. This is the US version of Donkey Kong on default settings, so the level layout's a little screwy compared to the Japanese version. The game is a lot harder, barrels fire a lot faster. Um, there are a lot more levels to clear, so theoretically speaking, if you're really good, you can get more points on the US version than the Japanese one. In realistic terms though, you'll be lucky to survive the second loop. Or the second level at this, this rate, holy shit. Okay, so my plan of action is to just gun through most of the level and just take the bonus points because it seems like the longer I leave myself on a level the more likely I am to die so I'm just waiting for this barrel to go and then I'm gonna jump and jump again and then up the ladder and done right okay so that's the first level over that's the girder level we're on to the wedge level next and then later on we'll see the spring level and then Donkey Kong takes his kidnapped girl here Pauline to the pie factory because well let's face it it makes a lot of sense I'm sure the only reason that Donkey Kong kidnapped her in the first place was to give her a nice fresh cream pie so yeah it all makes sense it's perfectly legit now let's get these wedges and knock Donkey Kong off his high perch here. Okay, so so far, so good. But this is where it gets difficult. And falling off is going to kill me. It wouldn't have mattered if I hit the flame or not. If you take full damage, you die in this. So, um, that's unfortunate. Let's try and get there again. Other than that, the setup wasn't bad up until that final bit. I had a lot of the wedges going. I had Donkey Kong on the ropes. <sighs> Shit. Right. Okay. Let's go. Nope. I'm leaving. I am leaving. Screw that. Whoa. Oh, that flame sped up. Did you see that? The flame sped up when it got close to me. Okay, I am not doing the best. And that is a really bad RNG for the flame. That's ruined my start. Okay. Okay, now what? Alright. Whoa! So close. Nope. Now you can jump over the flames if you're super lucky. I am not super lucky. I'm not going to even risk it. The problem is they're all bunched up in an awkward position. And they're going to force my hand in my, my way I move in a moment. Ah, fuck. Ooh. Okay. Last wedge. Look how quick the flames are going now. Come on. Let me add it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we won't get many bonus points, but we made it. Time for a sip of coffee. Second loop. Here we go. Back to the girders. More enemies. Faster barrels. More dangerous barrels. Yeah, a whole lot of good times. I'm just going to gun it as fast as I can. Okay. Come on, I'm feeling good about this. I won't be for much longer, but right now I feel good about it. 
Yes. Great. Okay, so here we see a new level for the first time in this run. This is the spring level. And that's why it's called the spring level. Well, that's why I call it the spring level anyway. I missed that jump. Damn. Oh dear, I'm screwed. Nineteen thousand four hundred points is the end of the first credit. That's not a bad score. Um, I would have liked to have got up that final step, but what's going to do? So nineteen thousand four hundred on credit run, credit one, should I say? Now we've got credit two. Let's see if we can get any better boys and girls. We're all stretched out, we're all relaxed for a few seconds until we get absolutely cremated by a big mama jamma that looks kind of like me. Oh, fuck off with the flame. Right, I'm gonna kill the flame because that flame shouldn't be over yet. Come back, come back, come on, and take you out. Is it me or is the barrel pattern a lot more difficult this loop around? My hammer's run out. Okay, we're going up, I'm popping away. Oh, jinkies. Whoa. Ah, it went through the hammer. Okay, here we go. So lucky that came through. Oof. Okay, this level, man. This game is so hard. Doesn't look it at first glance, but it is. It really is. I'm going for the umbrella. I'm going for the switch here. That's just these two in the corner. You know, I might get lucky. I might get lucky. Yeah, all right. Okay. Here we go, make or break time. So one of the differences in the US version compared to the Japanese version is, in the Japanese version, if you are 16 pixels away from the end of a step, 
a barrel will check against that and will not come down the step. In the US, that's been downsized to four pixels. So if you're four pixels away from the end of a ladder, you're pretty much going to get hit by a barrel anyway, so it effectively takes away that safety. Barrels were sped up. There are more blue barrels than there are in the Japanese version as well. And they tend to screw you over quite badly. Or at least they do for me, anyway. Jump! Oh, yes. Yeah, there we go. Can I beat the other score? It's pretty much going to be similar, isn't it? It's all down to whether I make it off this level or not, really. Do I go for it? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Ah! But 20,000 points! 20,000 points, I'm happy with that. Yeah, 20,000. Okay, I didn't get off the second level of the second loop, but <laughs> I made it to 20k. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's Donkey Kong. That's my entry into DK anyway. I wish you guys the best of luck, those who haven't entered already. Those who haven't checked out the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page, go have a look. Come and join the fun. All that you need is basically a camera, some recording software, and Donkey Kong, and you can join in this week if you're, if you're quick. The entry ends on Sunday, and we do a fresh game every week, so even if you miss this one, you can catch up with the next one. Have a good time. It's it's all for fun. There's no prize or anything involved. It's, it's just, just bragging rights and having a good excuse to play good old games, really. So until next time, have a good one. Bye for now.